So I was introduced to August Wilson's work at the opening night of the Broadway, the first Broadway production, Offenses. That was the first time that I saw an August Wilson play. And I thought, wow, I want to do that. <laughs> and I was working in television at the time in a very, very popular show, but I'm trained in theater and that never leaves us, you know, so you always are looking for a way to reconnect and work in the theater again. After a number of years, I received an invitation to meet him at Benjamin Mordecai's office. Benjamin Mordecai was his producer and I was asked to come in to talk about the role of Aunt Esther. And that's when I met August Wilson for the very first time. I think he liked me. They asked me to, <laughs> to play that role, and I did. About a year or so passed after that, and I received a call from Constanza Romero. August had been her husband, and she asked if I would direct a production of Gem of the Ocean at the Seattle Repertory Theater. I had never directed anything. Imagine never having directed anything and you're gonna cut your teeth as a director on August Wilson and August Wilson's Gem of the Ocean at that. Mm. Well, I, I went. I connect with everything about this play. Troy Maxson reminds me of my grandfather um, who, was, who was a fireman on the South Pacific Railway. Rose reminds me of my Aunt Ciola. <laughs> um, Corey reminds me of my cousin Richard. And Mr. Bono reminds me of, well, Mr. Bono reminds me of some of my father's friends and that he's such a good and loyal and faithful friend. Um, the circumstances of, of the lives were very different. There's no parallel there, but just in terms of the people themselves, you know. And because of the people, I can understand and go into the circumstances. I connect through the people first. Yeah, I th think it said something to do being an actor. <laughs> connect through the people first, yeah. What August Wilson has given us in the 10 play cycle is unique. We call it the century cycle because the plays take place over the course of the 20th century. There's one for each decade. And through the lives of the people in the plays, we actually get a glimpse of American history, of what was happening in the country, and how people, these people, were living in that time over the course of the cycle, the full course of the cycle, from Gem of the Ocean to Radio Golf, you see how a people change. The goal of our work as theater artists, and especially with this play, and indeed any play that we do, is that the audience should see their own humanity in the characters of the play hopefully to invite a greater understanding and expanded awareness of who we are as people, all of us as people, and how much alike we are, even through apparent differences. Because if it moves you, that means it resonates with you on some level. Otherwise, you wouldn't be affected. And in order for it to resonate with you, that means that a truth has been spoken.